Africa, the land of kill or be killed. Carnivores here have evolved into efficient, lethal weapons. Some have developed extraordinary strength and stamina to take down prey. For others, the weapon of choice is venom. Africa's poisonous predators work in camouflage. One of the deadliest hides in the peaceful forest canopy. The green mamba. The green mamba has a very potent neurotoxic venom that acts with exquisite specificity upon birds. Very efficient upon the human system and they can cause life-threatening envenomation. The green mamba stays out of sight in the trees and rarely ventures onto the ground. Sitting up on the branches, it's going to just keep looking around for prey items and then just glide down with this super silky smooth way that it can move. They've got a good sense of smell, but their eyes are their main hunting device. Blending perfectly with the canopy, the green mamba usually hunts birds. Green mamba is an active snake. It's an alert snake. It's quick to get away from a person. But what if there's 10 or 20 people harvesting out of the jungle? Anything entering the treetops gets the green mamba's attention. They don't lie in ambush. They'll find their prey by smell uh, and sight and then chase after it. Humans rarely encounter the green mamba. But in Africa's orchards, the danger is greater. The green mamba pumps venom down its tiny hollow fangs. The green mamba venom is a very fast-acting venom, which makes sense. If you're feeding on birds, you want to be able to knock your prey item very quickly, because otherwise, it's just going to fly away. First experience would be a tingling sensation around the site of the bite. And this has all got to do with the nerves going into spasm. In just two hours, life hangs in the balance as the lungs, paralyzed by venom, start to shut down. Anti venom is the only antidote but it must be administered quickly. Otherwise, death is almost certain. But the green mamba is not the snake most feared in Africa. That title goes to its cousin. This killer is even more aggressive. Its venom, even more potent. The black mamba. Mambas are the most dangerous of the mambas, hands down. It's a more toxic venom, it's a much larger snake. The black mamba grows up to 14 feet long, making it one of the world's largest venomous snakes. The black mamba isn't actually black at all. It's light grayish blue. It gets its name from the coloring inside its mouth which is often the last thing its victim ever sees. There's a drop of venom coming out in the one fang, and that's absolutely enough to kill an adult person or two. Drop for drop, the black mamba's venom is one of the deadliest in the world. The black mamba's got a neurotoxin, nerve-affecting venom and a very pure neurotoxin, which uh, easily paralyzes a large body. It's not just their venom that makes the black mamba so dangerous. It's their habitat. Black mambas hunt rodents, and rodents live near people. That's why most attacks occur in human settlements. If someone disturbs a black mamba, it immediately with a warning. Animals, when they feel threatened, have two responses, flight or fight. 
block the flight, and it's just going to turn around and fight. The black mamba's pressurized venom glands pump toxin into its half-inch fangs. The black mamba fangs are quite a bit larger than the green mamba fangs. You're looking at big venom yields of a very, very toxic venom. <laughs> This super toxic venom speeds throughout the body using several different pathways. And the venom then initially spreads to the lymphatic uh, tissue and then so spreads into the deeper parts of the body and travels through the body and then into the major organs of the body. At thousands of nerve synapses, the toxin jams chemical communication. The muscles don't get the message to fire and paralysis quickly sets in. Vision becomes blurred really more difficult. But the most critical shutdown happens as the neurotoxin targets the victim's heart. One of the major effects is for the vagus nerve of the heart, which is one of the things that sort of helps you keep sort of track of your beats. So you're knocking off effectively the heart's natural pacemaker with this kind of venom, and you get all kinds of weird heart arrhythmias as a result. Only immediate medical treatment can save the victim's life. That person can survive without any ill effects as long as proper CPR is applied. But the black mamba can kill in such a short period of time. If you put them deep out in the bush somewhere, you don't have much of a chance of survival. The black mamba is Africa's most feared snake, but it's not the most lethal. Up next, Africa's deadliest snake. Tiny assassins attacking by the millions. And later, the killer that hides at the water's edge. Africa's deadliest have dominated the landscape for millennia. Lions have evolved to overpower anything that we want. The spotted hyena is an unstoppable force with bone-crushing jaws. The green mamba strikes from the treetops, while its cousin, the black mamba, lives and kills closer to the ground. The black mamba is one of Africa's most lethal snakes, but it's not the deadliest. The snake responsible for the most human fatalities does not send out a warning before it strikes. It belongs to the viper family, and like most vipers, by the time the victim sees it, it's too late. The tough adder. It's a large snake, it's a very aggressive snake, has very potent venom, and it's not something you'd like to encounter. This is one of the few snakes that will have a go at you quicker than a lot of the other ones. The puff adder strategy is ambush. This snake is perfectly adapted to lie in wait for prey. Its markings are designed to blend in seamlessly with the forest floor. It lies there patiently. When this prey comes by, it'll identify its prey by smelling it, sticks the tongue out, and when the prey comes by, it'll then strike out with phenomenal speed. I mean, it strikes to about a quarter of a second. The puff adder's venom kills a rodent in seconds. If you're an animal that's waiting for something to come by, you might only get one shot every few days or even a couple weeks. You need to maximize the effectiveness of your striking. High-speed strikes, ultra-toxic venom, and merciless aggression makes this snake Africa's deadliest. And worst of all, the puff adders like to live where humans do. So in South Africa, a day on the golf course can suddenly turn life-threatening. The puff adder is a very cranky snake. This is not a happy camper. delivers its deadly payload in just a quarter of a second, 
Its main ingredient is a cytotoxin. It attacks tissue and blood cells. The pain is immediate and extreme. It's not a good snake to get bit by. There's no redeeming factors. You're in absolute agonizing pain. But the worst is still to come. Over the next 24 hours, the victim's body begins to rot, starting at the envenomated limb. The fact that a bite causes severe pain, the reason for this is that the cytotoxins destroy the blood and tissue cells, which results in a severe infection and psychologically probably the worst to experience. Without immediate antivenom and emergency medical attention, secondary infections spread throughout the body. Victims can die within three days. Although the puff adder is Africa's deadliest snake, it isn't the continent's largest viper. That honor goes to its cousin, the giant Gaboon viper. Gaboon vipers are awesome animals. They are the biggest vipers uh, in Africa. These things can get five feet or more in length and weigh 20 pounds plus. Massive, heavy bodies, big heads. The Gaboon Viper is the puff adder on steroids. Everything is bigger and longer, including its fangs, which grow up to three inches, longer than any other venomous snake. Like the puff adder, the Gaboon Viper is perfectly camouflaged to surprise its prey. The Gaboon Viper is one of the most perfectly adapted of the ambush feeding snakes. Put it in a pile of leaves and it's gone. You wouldn't even see it. The Gaboon Viper's body is sheer muscle. It acts like a coiled spring, waiting invisibly for its prey to enter its strike zone. That's solid muscle. So that means that when they strike, the strike speeds are incredible. painful snake bite, and a serpent that kills by crushing, and later, Africa's ultimate killer at the river's edge. Africa's predators have mastered the perfect kill. On the plains, lions and hyenas attack with speed and power. In the jungles, green and black mambas strike with lethal precision. The puff adder assassinates by surprise, and the giant Gaboon Viper has size on its side. The Gaboon Viper is almost impossible to spot. Most of its victims never see an attack coming. Gaboon Vipers are most often encountered by people uh, when they step on them, because these guys absolutely vanish in leaf litter, so you can walk right by them without even knowing they're there. The Gaboon's three-inch fangs sink deep into its victim. It's the world's most painful snake bite. You get this, an injury as if you just put your leg into a vice and crushed it. And the pain only gets worse. Once inside the body, the venom destroys blood vessels and muscle tissue. Within hours, the envenomated limb begins to swell dangerously. You get this fluid loss in between your blood vessels where you have things just leak out, just all the swelling going on. Your body goes into shock. Without immediate treatment, death is almost inevitable. And a Gaboon Viper bite in an isolated jungle is a terrifying way to die. It's a nasty way to go. I reckon it'd be probably one of the worst snake bites to go through as far as just the sheer amount of pain that you'd be in. You'd want to just die to get it over with. 